Hello again. In this video, we will see an application on SOLIDWORKS blocks. We can't relate SOLIDWORKS blocks to a kinematics and mechanism simulation. Previously, we tried to simulate two mechanisms, and it's obvious that when you have a lot of relations in your sketch, then the simulation becomes harder. In this part, we will create some mechanical mechanisms using SOLIDWORKS blocks. Let's start with a sketch on the front. Draw a rectangle with the following dimensions. Now, once you create this, select it and select Make Block. Then hit OK. And now we have the first block. Notice that when you try to move a block, it's easier than moving a sketch with relations and dimensions. Then draw a circle and give it the following diameter and once again select it and make a new block. Now, now select this block, hold control and select this one and here we have a new relation, engage blocks. Think about this as applying friction between two bodies. Now we need this block to be horizontal all the time, so select this line and set it to be horizontal. Now this line will always be horizontal. Let's try right to drag this. We cannot see the rotation here, that's why we need to edit this block and simply draw a center line here. Now. Finish editing the block, and now try to move this rectangle. As you can see, this circle rotates. In this way, we may represent rack and pinion gears. Now, we don't want this to keep going up and down all the time. That's why you can select this point, hold control with the origin, and then make horizontal. And now you can drag it this way. Let's insert this block again. Select Insert and then select Block 2. And here you have it. And now we need to relate this block to this one. To do so, select both of them and select Engage Blocks. Now, if you try to rotate this one, it will rotate. Or if you try to drag this, it will drag it and both of them will rotate. But here, this one is not fixed. That's why we can select this point and set it to be fixed. This point won't move now. Try to drag this. And as you can see, this one was fixed all the time. Draw another circle and draw a central line here and define this as a new block. And now select this and now select this block and this one and then engage blocks. Then set this point with this point to be horizontal. Now when you drag this, all of them will rotate. Insert the second block again and place it somewhere here and then make these horizontal and then engage them. And let's see what happens. Now, in SOLIDWORKS blocks we can define a build from here. So, let's insert the second block one here, one here, and let's say one here. Now, fix these three points. Make fix. Try to rotate this one. It rotates, but it's not connected to anything else. Now when you select belt or chain, you simply select this one, this one, and they are connected by a belt 
and select this one. Now you can reverse the direction of this bolt, like in this case, or in this case, or in this case. Keep it this way, then hit OK. Now let's try to move any of them. As you can see, all of them are connected now. Select build again, and this time, select this one. Make sure not to select it from here, because in this case, it will select the build itself. So, click here, and then click here. And hit OK. And now, let's move this, and the whole system moves. Now, let's select this block, right click and edit block. Select point and insert a point somewhere here. Then hit OK and finish the editing. Now we have these points in all these blocks. Once you move one, the points will move too. Now pick a line and draw a line somewhere here and set this point with this point to be vertical and set a distance between them to be 33 give this line a length of 60 and now select the line and select make block we have another block now we don't need this dimension so just delete it and for this point we need to fix it. Select this point, not the line, and select Make Fix. Now select the line and this point and make coincident. And now let's try to move this and notice the motion of that line. If you try to simulate this without blocks, then you will need a lot of relations and a lot of dimensions and you will not be able to achieve some connections like here. So using blocks is very useful when it comes to mechanism design and it can help you to simulate the motion before you start the 3D modeling phase and the assembly. That's it for using SOLIDWORKS blocks in kinematics. We saw how to connect many blocks together and how to create bolts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.